Hey guys, I'm Jay, and today we're going to look at a damn handsome Kershaw Weston model number 3460. So, why don't we go ahead and start with the features, and then we will compare this to some other knives on the table. And now make sure you stick around until the end so you can see the full specs on this. And if you happen to be a subscriber, you will see your name at the end in the credits as well. Now, I know you guys are really busy, which is why I just want to really quickly remind you, click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. All right, guys. Well, now this is the Les George designed Kershaw Weston, which happens to be a speed safe assisted opening frame lock. The blade is riding on bronze washers and deployment is accomplished with only just the flipper tab that you see here. The blade is about 3.375 inches long and 2.70 millimeters thick and that's going to be of HCR 13 MOV blade steel. Now the handle 4.375 inches long, which gives the Weston just a, a fantastic blade to handle ratio. Thickness of that handle is under a half inch and that's at 0.45. Now the closed width, so how much room this guy is gonna occupy in your pocket, I have two measurements for you. The first is without the flipper and that is 1.15 inches. The second measurement is with the flipper and that's 1.5. Two, two. Now, if we flip this guy over and look at the backside, you can see it is neither completely open or completely closed. So why don't we just go ahead and call it uh, partial with the uh, black uh, backspacer that you can see here. Let me go ahead and grab the scale so we can see how much this guy weighs. Okay, let's see how much this is actually gonna weigh you down. And we're looking at four ounces not bad not bad at all that's going to be about the equivalent of one two three four five about five double a batteries all right what do you guys say we go ahead and bring in some other knives so you can get an idea of the true size of the weston and let's go ahead and start out with the of course spider co paramilitary two and then the steel wheel modus. How about this one? The cold steel American lawman. And let's do a bench made. The freak. Let's do one more spider co, and this is going to be the native five, of course. And then the last one that I'm going to show you is going to be the knife that the Weston is often compared to, and that's going to be the Kershaw Skyline. Now, the reason that the Skyline is compared to the Weston most of the time really has to do with, more than anything, the, the blade and the shape, because you can see they are both, both share the same spear point and both have hollow grinds, but then if you place the Skyline on top of the Weston, yeah, you can see that the Weston is definitely larger than the Skyline. How about we go ahead and get into my uh, five likes and dislikes? And we're going to start out with Number one, the curb appeal, the appearance, how it looks, the aesthetics. This is gonna be my first gripe, guys. Yeah, I don't like, don't care for the curb appeal. The, if you look at the scales, specifically the thickness of them, and that lack of symmetry really, really bothers me. I just don't understand why they don't match as far as thickness goes. And I'm not the biggest fan. You see that little thumb ramp up there? Now I know that that's a characteristic that's often found in Les George designs, but yeah, I'm just not a fan of the thumb ramp. And if we flip over, well, first let me show you this side. You can see the lettering where 
Kershaw is. It's more up on the flats where it should be. But then you flip it over here and you see the lettering is, look at how far down that is. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I just don't understand why they didn't put it up on the flats like here on the other side. Now, I really, really do like this hollow ground uh, spear point blade, and it does have really nice stone wash finish. Oh, and did you did you see the, the body here? Look at that, only two body screws. That is just fantastic. I really, really like that. Now, number two is gonna be the function. That I like. The speed safe action is really quick, really snappy. Now there is, see if you guys can see this here, see that there is a detent. So that means that you might be able to de-assist this for those of you that are not crazy about uh, the speed safe opening. Let's check the centering. It's not bad. I mean, it's not perfect, that's for sure. But it, it's okay. I guess that centering is uh, definitely tolerable. Now, once the blade is deployed, it is locking up kind of early. See that? Yeah, it's about, well, I don't know, what would you guys say, about 15, 20%? Now, I don't know if I would call this really fidget friendly. I mean, I guess as far as speed safe, it's as fidget friendly as speed safe can be. How about I put it in those terms? Number three, in the hand, I like the handle. Very, very comfortable. And you can see definitely there's enough room for my medium-sized hand. There are absolutely no sharp edges anywhere. Well, I take that back, except for one place. And that is going to be right here, yep, where the frame lock cutout is. Now, this does have pretty decent traction from the glass-filled nylon side. There's two areas of jimping here, and we already kind of looked at one, and you can see yep, on the uh, thumb ramp, and then again, a little bit on the flipper tab. The balance is a little bit off. It should be right about here. So actually, the balance point, yeah, you can see making this just a little bit handle heavy. Now, Kershaw did go ahead and give us a sharpening choil, so thank you very much for that, guys. Number four in the pocket, I like. I like the clip. It is a really nice deep carry clip. You guys can see that there. One thing that I don't really understand is this could have been a little bit deeper. So I'm not sure why. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing there's some kind of a, it's because of a, a design conflict maybe but yeah I wish that it was just a little bit deeper than it is now the clip is going to be tip up only that's gonna that's for righties and for look at that for lefties too and of course the Weston has just excellent closed width and thickness and there is, even though you don't, you, get, you don't see it here, there is actually a sort of a lanyard hole. Yep, they went with a lanyard post. So I like to see that because it means it's not taking away any, you know, from any other space on the on the handle. Number five, the price. This is going to be my second gripe. Yeah, 30 bucks I've seen this for. $30. That, that is just way, I feel that that's too much. Because for 10 more dollars, 
I mean, you can just go ahead and get a Skyline, which has better blade steel, in my opinion. Now, I was actually able to find this for about 20 bucks on Amazon. And I probably would not pay any more than that. So, let's very quickly go ahead and summarize, guys, what we just talked about. We said the curb appeal, yeah, the curb appeal I did not like. The function I like, in the hand I like, in the pocket I like, and the price I did not care for as well. So for those of you keeping score at home, that is gonna be three to two, which is gonna lead us right into my recommendation. Now, if you are one of those people that find that the skyline is a little too small for you, then I would say absolutely, definitely get this. Especially if you can find it for 20 bucks. I mean, you're at 20 bucks, you're getting a Les George design with a, I feel, a very useful blade shape, and it's even riding on bronze washers. Now, if this video, guys, about the Kershaw Weston answered most of your questions, hey, why not just go ahead and leave me a like, a thumbs up, would you? I'd really appreciate it. But I wanna thank you guys for stopping by. Do not go away because I'm going to display the full specs for you here on the screen in just a second. Thanks again, you guys, and I will see you at the next video. You guys take care, okay?